My Samsung phone is running One UI 6, and I turned it from looking like this to looking like this. I even modified a few other things within the UI to make my phone even more astonishing. Let me show you how I did it. Starting with the volume bar, I completely changed its look. The default one was fine, but this new style that Samsung just released last month blows it out of the water. You can add cool looking lighting effects, texture, change its size, and even turn it into a knob. Samsung just never stops blowing my mind. To get it, you need to download GoodLock from the Galaxy Store and then download Sound Assistant. Inside that app, you then tap on Make Your Own Volume Panel Colors, and in this menu, you can start cooking. A quick thumbs up if you didn't know this feature existed and now you're going to use it. I also like to control my music with my volume keys so that I can quickly skip to the next track by simply long pressing the volume up key or long press the volume down key to rewind or switch to the previous song. To enable this, I again head into the sound assistant and enable control music with volume keys. I also switch it to the second option. And finally, when I'm listening to music on Spotify, I made it so that it never stops playing no matter what app I open and use. So for example, if I open TikTok or YouTube and start playing a video, my Spotify playlist will still play in the background. And if it's too loud, I can individually lower it when pressing my volume buttons. If you want this feature, head into the Sound Assistant app once again, scroll down to the bottom, enable multi-sound, and choose the app you like to play sound at the same time as your other apps. In my case, I chose Spotify. Now let's customize other aspects of the UI. For the status bar, I made a lot more room to show even more notification icons at once. To do this, I went into Good Lock and downloaded Quickstar. Then I tapped on clock settings and moved the time to the right side, just like the good old days of Android. From there, I went into the system settings, notifications, advanced settings, and changed the top menu from three of the most recent to all notifications, making the status bar a lot more helpful. Within the same menu, I could even bring back the snooze feature that lets me save notifications for later simply by enabling the show snooze button toggle. I also forced the notification icons to follow the system's color palette for a more uniform look. I just enabled apply color palette to notification icons within Quickstar. For the quick settings panel on One UI 6, I changed its grid size to show even more tiles at once. So instead of a 4x3 layout, it's now 5x3. But you can push it even further to a 6x3 if you're that insane. To do this, return to Quickstar, enable change quick setting button grid, and increase the slider. And while we're on this menu, you can also change the swipe area that lets you instantly access the quick settings. So what I did was split it down the middle right in between my camera hole punch. So anytime I swipe down on the right side, I can access my quick settings panel. And then if I swipe down on the left side, I can still get to my notifications. Another cool trick I enabled is that whenever I swipe diagonally up on the left side of my screen, I now bring up this virtual touchpad to make it easier to interact with the top half of the UI. It comes in handy when using the phone with just one hand, because I can drag my finger around to control the cursor at the top and tap it to select. Then I can use the arrows to swipe left or right, or even start scrolling with the up or down arrows. It's similar to the famous Quick Cursor app on the Play Store. Now to take things even further, I can quickly swipe down diagonally and quickly get access to some of my most used apps. That way I can switch between them a lot more quickly. When I swipe down diagonally on the right side of the screen, I can access a mini version of the quick settings panel, letting me change the brightness, access my music player, and even toggle any OS settings without leaving my current app. So a lot of useful features. To enable each one, you need to hop into the Good Luck app, download One Hand Operation Plus, enable the left and right handles, and choose your different actions for each swipe. The virtual touchpad, quick launcher, and Quick tools are found at the bottom of the action screen. Feel free to play around with all the different options because you could stumble across even better features. And whenever I use a Samsung or any device for that matter, I always install a VPN so that I can stay protected online and stop any online threats. Surfshark, this video's sponsor, has consistently been my top choice 
because it's the most budget-friendly VPN you can get, costing less than two bucks a month. Plus, it works seamlessly across all my devices, and I can even share a single account with my friends so that everyone gets online security at a cost of less than a piece of gum. I find it most useful too whenever I travel because some websites like Netflix or YouTube restrict access to specific videos just based on your location. So with Surfshark, I can effortlessly change my virtual location and enjoy those videos without a hassle. Also, if I'm at a hotel or coffee shop and join the public Wi-Fi, Surfshark will stop anyone from spying on my online activities. And no matter where I am, Surfshark will even automatically block over a million known malicious websites, phishing attempts, and any other online threats that often target unprotected devices. If that's not enough to convince you, here's an exclusive Black Friday deal that might tip the scales. By clicking the top link in the description and entering the promo code HTM, you'll receive an additional six months for free. It's a spectacular deal that won't last forever, so act now and get that extra layer of protection. Finally, let's theme up that home screen. First, I stuck with Samsung Stock Launcher, One UI Home, because the nav bar doesn't feel as smooth or fluid whenever I switch to any third-party launcher, even though Samsung did do their best to improve the nav bar. Um, but I still think my setup turned out amazing considering how limited Samsung's launcher is with customization. I wanted to create something modern and elegant while still keeping it minimal. A home screen that lets people know that I'm standing on business. So before I dropped any widgets or used any icons, um, I first modified the home screen grid. Within good luck, I downloaded home up and then in the home screen menu, I changed the home screen grid to the maximum, which is seven by seven. I also hid the app icon label, added 40% blur to the app drawer, and even changed the background color to a purple tint with a background transparency of 20%, giving the icons in the app drawer a bit more focus. From there, I went to work on the home screen. I started with the widgets, cause that's what drives any setup. And after doing a ton of researching and testing, I chose Elements KWGT. It's got hundreds of beautiful looking widgets, all following the same white frosted look, which I love. No matter which ones I chose, they all look fantastic because it's pretty evident that the developer put a lot of thought and time into each widget. To be more specific, I went with the widget EL102 on the main page because it's got all the necessities like the time, date, weather, and battery level. On the next page, I went with two different widgets. The top one is called EL224, which lets me keep track of the RAM level and storage space. And then the one below is a beautiful music player called EL169, which lets me control my music and open the appropriate music player. Just keep in mind that if you want to use these widgets, you'll also need to download the KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key app from the Play Store. Now, since the widgets are white, it was only appropriate to go with a white icon pack to match the look. And even though there are many different options in the Play Store, not all white icon packs are good quality. A lot of them are even outdated. So after doing a ton of searching and testing, I found Lena White to provide the best quality. It doesn't modify the icons too much and keeps it simple, but if you want a free alternative, you can use Wicons. Uh, the annoying part is applying these icon packs though, cause Samsung doesn't make it easy. Here's how you do it. First, you must go back into the Good Luck app and download Theme Park. From there, head to the Icon tab. Tap on Create New, then Icon Pack. Select the custom icon pack you want to use, which in my case is Lena White. Make them a tad bit smaller by tapping on the bottom arrow and decreasing the slider so your home screen doesn't look as cluttered. Then tap on the Download button in the top right corner, give it a name, it doesn't matter what it is, and hit OK. Finally, tap on the icon pack you created and hit Apply. You should now have new icons on your home screen and app drawer. Finally, the wallpaper brought everything together, and I thought nothing would fit in better with these widgets and icons than some high quality nature shots. I also couldn't just choose one, so I had to use Musée Live wallpaper to cycle through all the different backgrounds I wanted to use every few hours. I even dimmed and grayed them out a bit to make it easier to see my widgets and icons on the home screen no matter what wall I used. All of these nature shots I grabbed from a Google Photos album called Absolutely Wallpapers. It's honestly a complete goldmine for anyone who's an extreme customizer 
because it's got hundreds of backgrounds that you can download and use for free. My personal favorite is this mountain in Yosemite called Half Dome. It's extremely beautiful and leaves enough space at the top for all my widgets. I also chose some other nature shots within this Google Photos album, mostly dark ones. Anyways, that's how I customized and themed my Galaxy S23 Plus running One UI 6. Click this video right here to learn about all the new features found within One UI 6. Thumbs up if you turned your Samsung into a beast, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!